Hey, what's up? It's Deanna. So I did a video last week showing you me sniping this 1950s English Chiltern Hug Me Teddy Bear. And so in the last seconds of the auction, as the clock was ticking down, me and my teenage daughter were laughing and giggling like two idiots as I went in with like, I think, five seconds into the end of the auction and bid on this beautiful teddy bear and won him for $56. And so I posted the video on YouTube and I didn't realize it, but my husband actually watches my YouTube channel, even though he says it's stupid. I think he watches it just to see all the crap that I buy so that he can uh, get angry at me. So nonetheless, he wrote in the comment underneath the video, WTF in all caps with an exclamation point. And the next morning I got in trouble. So I got hollered at and I can understand, you know, our house is turning into a bear den. And so he was PO'd and I explained to him, but honey, this bear is worth more than I paid. I did really well. And if I were to pay full price for this bear, I'd never be able to afford to add it to my collection. And so here's the reason why. So for example, Christie's Auction House in England sold the same bear, same size, for 306 Great Britain pounds, which is equivalent to 400 United States dollars. And it's the same bear. And so that's why if my husband would only understand that I would never be able to afford 400 US dollars. And so I got that bear at a bargain. And so he uh, hopefully will see this video. Hey, honey, come on. You got to admit, right? D done good. I know you're mad, but you know. So nonetheless, uh, I'm going to show you show you this bear. I just got him. I didn't even take him out of the box yet. So we'll do an unboxing and we'll check him out. So stay tuned for one second while I go get him. Okay, so the package is here. And I'm going to open it up right now and do an unboxing. So you can see this beautiful English teddy bear. Now hang in there one second while I open it. So I open the top of the box and this is what I see. The worst packing job I have ever seen in my history on eBay since 1998. So someone just stuffed a bear in a box with no padding or wrapping. So let's see if he's okay and uninjured. One moment. Let's get him out. Thank goodness he's okay. And so he's uh, had a rough journey and so not only did he come all the way from England to the US he was stuffed in a in a box very 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 sadly and um, not well done by the seller but I'll still give him a five-star feedback because my item came okay and so we have a 1958 English Chiltern teddy bear with a dog nose and in 1958 they sold pull toys that were like dogs and cats and they had little wheels on them. And the dog and the cat had these type of dog nose noses. And the noses were made out of molded plastic. And so the marketing person over at Chiltern decided to give it a try and put these cute little noses on the Chiltern bears. And that was just about 1958. And so it was a hit. And it's adorable. I always wanted a dog nose Chiltern bear. And so now I have one and for a really, really good bargain price. And my husband's angry, and <laughs> what else can I do? But to show him that this one sold for about 400 US dollars in England at a Christie's auction, and hopefully he won't be so angry. So uh, he's uh, got a nice, nice uh, covering of mohair. He has a little wear, he has velveteen paws, he has little stitch claws, and he's fully jointed, so his head and his arms and his legs can swivel. And the cool part of it all is he has his original tag, which uh, sells, says Chiltern Hygienic Toys, and it mentions something made in England on the bottom. And generally these tags are long gone, and but he still retains his original tag, and uh, the seller didn't even mention it in the listing. And thank goodness I knew it was a Chiltern bear, and that's why I bid on it. And so now I finally have one to add to my collection. And as you can see, he's in pretty, pretty good condition. Here's my dog. He's uh, video bombing. Hey, Grover. Grover, say hi. Oh, Grover really doesn't care right now. He's too busy looking for a spot to go potty. So nonetheless, we have this adorable, adorable 1950s teddy bear to add to the collection. And uh, again, my husband's not too happy about him, but I'm very happy about him. So nonetheless, thanks for watching. Have a great day. If you like what you see, hit the thumbs up and subscribe.